Hi, I'm Tasman Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make an anti-aging cream for the neck and decolletage area. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so here I have my phase A ingredients. I've got my water here and to this I'm gonna be adding some humectant. A humectant is used to condition the skin but also to protect the skin from transepidermal water loss which as we age, we do tend to get drier skin. Put that upstairs. Now to build my cream, I am gonna be using a polymer. So this is Sepi Max N. This is one of my absolute favorite polymers. Now this won't hydrate straight away. So we are gonna stir it a little bit to wet the polymer and then we're gonna allow it to sit for a while until it hydrates. So you just want to wet the polymer so it's obviously not going to fully dissolve right away but you just want to make sure it's wet so then it does hydrate properly eventually. So we're going to let that sit for a while and then we're going to come back once it's hydrated. Okay so now my polymer is hydrated as you can see that's a nice beautiful gel it's quite clear and we're going to pop that one on heat. So in here I have my oil and water emulsifier. So this is a blend of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate. And to this, I do want a nice viscous stable cream. So I'm gonna add an anionic emulsifier, which is this glycerol stearate citrate. Glycerol stearate and glycerol stearate citrate often get confused, but they are very different. So the stearate on its own is a non-ionic emulsifier and just on its own it's generally low HLB and the glycerol stearate citrate is anionic so totally different emulsifiers and they do different things. Now I'm going to be adding some caprylic capric triglycerides this is a medium skin fill. I'm also going to be adding the Sedgisoft PFO by BASF this is a plant oil so it's going to be a little bit heavier and then just to balance out, to get the perfect skin feel, I'm going to be using some Dermafil Sensolf. So this is a nice light feeling ester. So this is a good silicon alternative. And I'm going to pop that one on here also. Okay, once your oil phase has melted, I'm going to add it to our water phase. And you'll see this beautiful white glossy emulsion start to form. Okay, so we're just going to allow that to cool and then I'm going to add my heat sensitive materials. Now first thing I'm going to add my star ingredients. So this is my active. So this is the Skin Nectura by Southern Cross Botanicals. So I'm just going to talk you through some of the efficacy data here. So this has really rapid results in decreasing uh, the appearance of wrinkles and sagging uh, of the skin. So this has got data for the eyes and the neck, but we're going to be using the data for the neck. So you can see here there was a test conducted on 39 Caucasian volunteers aged between 45 and 65 years old and they applied a cream containing 2% of the Skin Nectura uh, two times a day for 28 days. Some 3D software has shown here the results of applying this twice a day. So you can see here from these three images below that there's been a massive decrease in wrinkles or sagging in the neck. The first image is one hour after application the second is day 14 and the last is day 18. And you can see here in the graph that in one hour there's been a 3% decrease. So that's really rapid results. And then by day 14, there's been a massive 16% decrease and then a further 27% decrease by day 28. So that's really amazing rapid results. Now it is eco-friendly, it is Cosmos registered, um, it's China compliant and it's also patent. So a really, really awesome active to use there with extremely rapid results. I'm gonna be adding an extract in here as well. I'm just using some aloe vera extract, but you can use any glycerin base extract of your choice. 
Aloe vera is really good for moisturizing the skin, which as we age, we do get dry skin. I'm gonna add my preservative, a little bit of essential oil, and some antioxidant. Now, using tocopherol is my favorite antioxidant, not only because it protects your formula from oxidation if you're using plant oils, but it also has some really good skin benefits, so really good antioxidant skin benefits. Now lastly, we're gonna check and adjust our pH. And that's looking pretty much where we want it to be. So I'm not gonna adjust that. Now, full viscosity will be achieved overnight, so we are gonna cover and leave this. Okay, and here's what my cream is looking like the next day. So as you can see, that's thickened up heaps overnight and it's this beautiful glossy emulsion. I love a glossy emulsion. There's something about them, they just look pretty. <laughs> Really see how shiny that is. It's got good viscosity for a cream. There's barely any white rub in. It's spreading really nice. It's not too heavy and it's not too light either. Somewhere in the middle. Well, there you go. That's how you put together a cream to combat sagging skin in your neck and decolletage area. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.